What's up, my friend and love, sisters, friend and D, coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. Spiders or bats? My decision is easy. Oh. Bats. I hate spiders. Oh, I would say bats. I hate them. Yeah. Can bats are creepy them? too, though. They are, but you can see them better, I feel like. No, you can't. They're in the dark. That is, you're not wrong. Okay. Vampires or aliens? Vampires. A thousand percent. Yeah. You'd rather be a vampire. You'd also rather be around vampires. Yes. Or aliens. I'd rather be around aliens. I'd rather be a vampire. Okay, I agree. Fair? Yes. <laughs> Paranormal or sci-fi? Sci-fi. A thousand percent. A hundred thousand. If I see a ghost, yeah, I'm out I'm of going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Not the booty. You got better booty wiggle than I do. No. <laughs> Okay guys, guess where I am? I'll give you one, one clue. Peaches. Say hi, Brandon. What's up? Guess who's in Georgia? Hi. Hi. Hi everyone. Hi Team Twirl. I just wanted to tell you guys hi. Just wanted to jump online quickly just to check in with you all. If you have any questions for me, just to tell me how you're feeling. I'm actually, for the first time in a long time, I'm actually at home in my bed, which is why, why I'm laying down. I'm in Atlanta and uh, we flew in. Um, I don't even remember. I don't even know what day this is. Honestly, it's been like crazy for me. Um, I think we flew in two days ago. It's just been a lot of dancing, rehearsing. Um, you guys know I'm back on Real Housewives, so I had to come and film. So now I'm filming two shows at once and, um, and a lot of other things that I have going on and running my Kenya Moore hair care and expanding into other stores. Um, it's just, it's a lot. Um, but I'm not complaining. It's just like one of the happiest, um, you know, one of the happiest times in my life. So it looks like I have a a wig on, but I don't. This is my hair. It's so funny. That line right there. I don't know what it's from. But anyway, <laughs> um, someone said I was dancing amazing. Thank you. Booked and busy. Uh, thank you. Stay close to Jehovah, Kenya. Yes, of course. Um, thank you for being proud of me, watching my grandmother, um, someone said, made, made me cry. Yeah, I couldn't watch the, um, I couldn't watch it, you know, Brandon took me off the stage when, um, when they were playing the, um, playing my package and, you know, basically playing the, um, thing with my grandma. I couldn't watch it because if I had watched it, I knew I would tear up and I wouldn't be able to dance. So he, um, you know, he took me off stage so that I wouldn't have to, uh, to watch it. So I really appreciate him for that. Um, uh, so, li um, uh, so listen, someone said, we're going to get those votes queen. Yes. So the key is everyone, you can get good scores or you can get the lowest scores. And if you get the votes, you will stay on Dancing with the Stars. Um, we've seen this happen week after week. I was not in the bottom of scoring and I was in the bottom two that week. So that means that I wasn't getting the votes. Um, at least that's what I think it means. And there are other people that were in the bottom that were safe. So in my mind, that calculation means that I wasn't getting the votes, but you guys showed up for me. You guys, you have to continue to vote to keep me on so I can continue to tell my stories through dance and um, and just make you guys proud of me. This is like some of the happiest times in my life right now. And I'm just so appreciative of everyone who... Um, who voted for me, who believed in me, you know, who keep me on the show. Um, I'm so happy you guys are going so hard for me and we just need to get to the finals. You know what I mean? Let us just, let me keep dancing because now I feel, I feel my um, confidence back. You know, I had lost it for a second because I was so overwhelmed with being in the bottom 
And uh, and now someone just said, I'm there because I belong there. Oh, thank you. Someone just said the most beautiful thing. Thank you, Team Twirl. Uh, someone said, can't wait to see me at the finale. Ah, this is so scary. It was so much, so much fun. Like, I just can't believe it, guys. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to take some questions. If you guys want to ask me some questions, I'm going to sit up so I can take some some questions from you guys uh see someone said nice eyebrows <laughs> thank you uh hi from london d d theo five um someone said truly an inspiration i appreciate that someone oh beautiful to watch on the dance floor oh oh thank you <laughs> thank you so much um how long i have to leave atlanta tomorrow so I have to go back and do some more dancing stuff. And then, you know, we have camera blocking and rehearsals and stuff. We've been rehearsing while while we've been here, though. So we, we can't miss a day. I need the rehearsal time. Um, would I ever write a memoir? I have written a, a memoir. I have not published it. I wrote it years ago. Um, it's called um, Invisible. Uh because of you know my 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 um situation with my mom but yeah i i wrote it so maybe i'll revisit that one day and um if i think it could help people now i probably would look at it again uh someone said aquarius gang love you millions uh hi from la hi from the uk uh that body yaddy yaddy dancing got you snatched <laughs> Um, I got on the scale today. I haven't really lost any weight. I lost two pounds. Um, I probably would have lost a lot more. I'm dancing like five, six hours a day and it's very strenuous. I probably would have lost more weight, but I'm eating a lot. Like I'm eating more um, than I eat if I'm not dancing. So if I was not eating as much, I would have lost more weight. <laughs> But honey, I need the carbs. I need the the sugar. I just get emotional. I'm an emotional eater. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't good for me. Uh where's little Brookie? Brookie is visiting um Eva Eva um Sterling, formerly Eva Marcel. Uh um she's over over to her little friend's house visiting. She was asking me about uh where her friends are. And that made me feel sad because I don't want her to think she doesn't have any friends. Um, so I, I I let her go over there to play. So she's over there right now. Um, someone said gained muscle. Yeah, I probably did gain some muscle. Um, uh, someone just said love, love seeing me in a different light on dancing. Um, I just think, you know, the last couple of projects that I've done, even um, the Ultimate Girls Trip on Bravo with the Housewives, it's me not being around the housewives. Um, I think you get to see me for who I really am instead of me constantly being defensive or me, you know, doing crazy stuff or whatever. Um, some uh, basically provoked, unprovoked. But I just think that um, for me, it's just, I think maybe just also turning 50 and um, just owning who I am and just being proud of the woman that, that I am and making better decisions in terms of, um, you know, how I, how I respond and behave and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I love doing these new projects because I do think that people can really see me in a, in a different light and really who I am, and what my heart is, um, you know, so it, it feels better to be on a show like that. Uh, uh, it's going by a little fast. The way you slayed the All Stars cast photo. <laughs> well, thank you to my glam. I want to say thank you to my glam. You know, George. Um, who did my hair for that? Uh, oh, Derek Monroe. Yeah, Derek Monroe on my hair. Who's always amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's who did the All Stars photo. So that's great. Uh, who is your favorite housewife from that group aside from Cynthia? Um, Candy. Yeah, Candy's just um, an amazing person. She's an inspiration. You know, she's a great businesswoman. She's a great friend. She's a beautiful person inside and out. She's talented. I mean, it's just not anything negative that I can really say about Candy. And she's always been very fair with me, um, even when 
uh, her best friend at the time was not friends with me. She was still cool. You know what I mean? So I, I just appreciate Candy and our, our talks and her positivity and everything that she's uh, helped me with. And just for being her. And so I, I think Candy. Uh, let's see. Chocolate Gang. Yes. Uh, are you Nini? Make, I don't know. Make friends. Um, I wouldn't say that we're friends. I, I would just say we're not in a bad place. Um, she appreciated me supporting uh, Greg. And being in his repass and um, acknowledge that she didn't um, have time to really speak. But, um, you know, I'm just I'm just over beefing with people, you know. Um, I just think that you have to in your life just be able to move on and um, and wish people well if they're not really for you. Um, or sometimes you just don't know what other people are going through, but you have to have a forgiving heart. And I think that I have a forgiving heart. At least I know I know. Not think I know I do. Um, but uh, yeah, so, you know, I, I hope in the future that we can we can get to a point of being friends. But but right now, you know, she's going through something and I'm going to respect her space and where she is and all that. So that's that's where we are. Uh, am I still on RHOA? Yeah, I'm filming now. That's why I'm in um, Atlanta. I told you guys I was coming back. I told you not to listen to those people who talk. Um, if you don't hear from me, don't believe it. So yes, I am on the new season. I am a housewife. Uh, someone said, I love the video of your grandmother's uh, message to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, she was, she was a great lady. She was a great lady. Did you like your short hair wig? You looked gorgeous. You know what? I liked my short hair wig. I didn't love it at first. Um, I've worn short wigs before, like at the reunion I remember wearing, but it wasn't that short. It was probably to my shoulder. So I don't know if people might consider that as being like um, medium length, but it was short and, and I, everyone loved it on me. So, you know, at some point I might have to just cut my hair. You know what I mean? I might just have to cut my hair. <laughs> Or just keep that little wiggy, you know, when I want to, you know, be sassy. And I'm going to give you a little sass. <laughs> um, someone said you should go bald. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, no. that's. I can pretty much say that's never going to happen. <laughs> um, someone said, so I'm going to see some people want to get into this video. I'm going to do it for like... Um, uh, I'm going to do it for like five minutes. So let me just find, find the request and, and get some people on. Um, so let's see, are you still able to communicate with Brooklyn's dad? Yeah, we, we communicate. I mean, you know, we're going through a divorce, so there isn't a whole lot of communication. I just wanted to settle. I don't want to go through a divorce. I just want to be able to, to say, okay, this is what it is. Let's sign off and, um, do the paperwork ourselves come to an agreement and then submit it to court. I don't know why we have to go to court when the main issue that I went to court for has been settled and that's the um, custody of Brooklyn. That's all settled. So now that we're going through a divorce and that's one piece of a divorce when you have kids, why are we not just communicating what we want? I don't want anything from you. I don't want anything from Mark. Um, I wish him well. Um, he will always be in my life because he is my family. He's Brooklyn's dad. He's my ex-husband. He will be. And, um, so I just wish we would get to a place where I, I can just even understand like why I don't even understand why he's not signing off on the divorce. Uh, so yeah, just keep praying for me to and really pray for Mark, um, for his peace and his, you know, if he has issues with me, if he can um, let those go, because I was a good wife to him. And I think I'll be a great wife to someone else one day, too. Um, so that's where I am with that. I hear you, girl. Pray for Mark. <laughs> I hear you. I mean, what is coming on Instagram live and going in on him being negative or going on a show and dragging him and screaming going to do it for her absolutely nothing it's just going to give her a headache and stress and who needs that she's at peace she's been at peace okay like custody is settled brooklyn is good 
I don't want anything from you. Just move on. You claim on the show, she can have it all. You don't want anything. So then why are you still in court? Because she finally is saying, I don't want to be on this emotional roller coaster anymore. I choose me. I choose my life. So now you're upset. I'm going to leave it when it comes to Mark Daly because I always say this. I always say this. When I start to go in, it's not going to be pretty. And so I'm just going to leave it alone because like I said, I support Kenya. I rock with her. That's Brooklyn's father. And, and since Kenya is the one going through it, she's not going off on the man. Who am I to go off on him? Right? <laughs> so Okay, let's see. I'm going to see this re request. Let me see. I'm just going to randomly let some people go in here, okay? So I'm going to let Jake. Go. Um, thank you. Someone said Mark lost a great woman. I appreciate that. What? Hey, Jake. What the <laughs> hell? Uh-uh. Is this real? <laughs> what up, girls? First, I got Marge sending me videos from the other housewives saying hello. Now I got you, beautiful. Okay. Who, said, who Kenya you accepting your request. What? Who sent you a video? Marge. Marge? From the other housewives. Yeah, like, like Margaret. From from from, from from New Jersey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Fred, yeah. No, How the hell you don't know who she is? I'm well, honey, oh my you God, you're so I'm pretty. I'm a little tired right now. I'm a little tired right now. How you doing? I have no makeup on, and I'm a little tired, too. Look at this hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you're but on thank my you live. So much. You can... What? Someone said it's nosy. I don't know what they mean. New Jersey, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, not yeah, nosy. Jersey. Not nosy. Yeah, they be nosy, but... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm going to take a screenshot real quick because this is real. Smile. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I wonder what it's been. I wonder what it's like meeting you. You're beautiful. I can't believe you chose me. I was like, I'm just, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to try a little bit. Sorry, I spoke. Okay. That. Okay. Well, my, my followers might have something to ask you. So go ahead. And then I'm going to I want one thing. I have one thing to ask you. One thing to ask yes. you. Yes. Yes. Why is your baby cuter than every other fucking baby I see in this world. <laughs> because I be seeing some ugly babies and I'm like, that's the prettiest baby. baby. <laughs> there are ugly babies. Don't tell me they ain't. Don't, no, we <laughs> can't talk about people's babies. I'm no, kidding. Your baby's that. beautiful. I love you, girl. And keep rocking it, okay? Oh, thank you. Bye-bye, girl. You. Okay, we're going to get somebody else now, okay? All right. All right. I don't I, know I love, how to I love, do love, it, love. but... <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get. Uh, let's see. This looks like a fun girl right here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm like okay, Dougie in right now. So happy. I'm so, I'm uh, so okay, let's see. Somebody else is joining us. <coughs> hey, oh, girl. Girl. Hey. hey, girl. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You me. I was just testing it out. Oh my god. How just you know doing? you were second. Just know you were second. I was first. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm, kidding. I'm here now. You're he beautiful. is so funny. Tell us your name and what's your IG handle. My name is Carlina. And what is my what? What's IG your IG? Handle. Yeah, handle. Oh, Carlina, Carlina Lockett. My name. Carlina Lockett. Okay, guys. Ooh. So y'all know where to find him. So tell me, what, what do you want to say to, to Team Twirl? Hey, you know what, King? I just want to let you know that you've been killing it on Dancing with the Stars. Every uh, one of your performance has been the bomb. I tagged you on um, the one where you had the pink on. You killed oh, it on that one. I was, like, I was oh just staring God. at her butt the whole time. Oh. <laughs> and I'm killed gay. It. And I'm, I'm gay. It. I'm like, look at that butt. And I'm gay. <laughs> it's well covered. I don't know how you look at it. It's well covered. But anyway. Yeah, but it's, but it's a butt. <laughs> Let me tell you, girl. Y'all so funny. Yes. So I just want to say that's so wonderful. Cute. And you're doing great. I want, I'm enjoying you on Dancing with the Stars. I'm oh, thank the you. Shit I'm out enjoying of right. And I just want to say thank you, guys. I just want to stress how important it is for you guys to vote because for sure. when I didn't ask for you guys to vote, I was in the bottom two. When I did ask for you guys, hey, come on, guys, vote for me. You see, I wasn't in the bottom two. And, of course, you know, the judges scored us higher yeah. um, last week. So it was just 
the most amazing feeling not to be called last or not to be in the bottom two. Yeah. Like Jake that's, Kozak that is up. the worst feeling in the world to be standing there and not know whether you're going home or not. Like, oh yeah, my God, it's I the bet. worst feeling. Is it, is, it, is it scary just being on stage in general, like walking out like you're like, I just picture you as like the black Britney Spears. You know what I mean? Like you know walking what? out. I, I never, I never have anxiety going. I speak to, to thousands of people all the time. I'm on TV. I'm always in front of an audience. And when I tell you before I have to dance, I've had panic attacks. Like it was what? real. Like, I didn't even know what they were until I called my doctor. Right. And I had like real panic attacks where it was like, you know, where your throat closes up and I couldn't. And you're like an elephant problem. sitting on your chest. That's what it feels well, like. It was bad. Well, you it was look really like bad. a natural. You look like a natural. And well, I had to like, great. you know, once you start going, you know, it, it goes away. But it's, it's a scary feeling not to be able to breathe, you know. So, um, but yeah, I after. Kidding. I was kidding about the Black Britney Spears. People are commenting. Oh my God, that's a that's a compliment, okay? No, that was a Jesus. compliment. It was you you saying that I'm I'm good in front but, of audiences. I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not well. saying like you're under some conservatorship shit. Like shit, people need to calm down. <laughs> Damn, I'm not saying free Kenya. Jeez. Oh boy. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't with you. <laughs> okay, let me go. Gosh, like these people are mean. I'm just reading oh, it. They're not mean. They're just they're just protective. Not they're mean. just they're, jealous. No, they're protective. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, Kenya, you're the I, best. Thank you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um just remind <laughs> people that you guys you guys have to vote. Like you you have to vote because if you don't vote, then then you then don't win. <laughs> you know, the votes weigh more. It seems like the votes weigh more than the scores. Because there are people in the very bottom, you know, lower than me. I was never in the bottom of, of the scores. But I was had to be in the bottom of the voting because then why was I in the bottom too? So That's just so confusing that, to me. That's so confusing. It is. It's a little it, it's a little confusing. But all you have to remember is to vote. That's that's right. all you have to do. Re vote ten times um by texting Kenya to 2523, and then you can go online and vote 10 times online, too. So oh, I didn't know that. Vote. Yep. And you, the people on the West Coast, you guys should vote at 5 p.m. on the West Coast when it's 8 p.m. East Coast, because that's the only time you can vote. When the show comes on live, I mean, you know, comes on for you, if the show is already over. Oh, so okay. you okay. have to vote. At five or eight o'clock. So, okay. Okay. All right. I'll be child, voting at five, eight o'clock, ten o'clock. But well, thanks for having me, Kenya. Yeah. No, I'm gonna do my best. Wait, wait, what's your name down, down in the right? What's your name again? I'm Carlina. 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 Carlina, yes. Kenya, and Jake. This is a great conversation right here. Yes. I, <laughs> I'm oh, three beauties looking beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, I'll, I'll see you guys. All right. Bye. Much Wait love to you. Much okay, love bye. to you. Okay, Thank bye, you. Bye. Jake was funny. Kalina was funny. Excluding the little part where he went to give Brooklyn a compliment, and then he started calling other people kids out of their name. You know, Kenya was like, okay, you're funny, but let us not talk about people kids and call them. You heard what he said, okay? So I'm glad that she shut that down because you already know, I can already see it. Kenya Moore on Instagram Live with her supporters laughing as her supporters call people kids, that, that, that. So I'm glad that she shut that part down. But I wasn't going to include the part where she talked to her supporters, but it was a funny little segment so i kept it in there kalena was great as well also in the beginning you know brooklyn and brandon at the airport dancing just cute all of kenya you know answers to the questions about you know other cast members and all of that that's always been kenya you know she's always been about peace however if you choose to disturb her peace all right then she will make sure <laughs> she let you have it. That's how it's always been. So all of the people say, oh, I like this Kenya. Uh, this Kenya always been there. You know, she always been there. It's just that 
people always think it's okay to let me go ahead and attack Kenya and she should just sit there and not defend herself. And I will say it again. She's never ever the one just randomly getting up to go in or go after people. That's not how she wrote, okay? I'm wishing all of you well. I'm wishing Kenya and her family the best and take care, have a great weekend and be safe. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.